Do you have the GoDaddy Conversations app that just switched over from SmartLine? Well, you're probably dealing with all kinds of frustrations with this app because the app does not work well. It's got a lot of bugs. One of the main bugs that I was dealing with is that it did not show caller ID when people who I had saved in my contact list were calling. It would just say SmartLine call for my business name, SkyPoint Studios. It would not, it would just, that's what, that would scroll across the screen. I couldn't see who was calling. So I had to answer the phone blindly all the time. Now, that's not really super convenient for running a business. You need to answer all the calls. You need to know exactly who's calling. Um, and I kept, I opened a ticket um, in September about this GoDaddy, you know, early September, GoDaddy still has not resolved that. There's no res resolution in sight. So just this week, I managed to transfer my number from GoDaddy over to T-Mobile. I put it into digits and then digits wasn't really working. So I ended up switching it as a dual SIM at T-Mobile. So this may be a solution for you if you're having issues with GoDaddy's uh, Conversations app and it is an absolute terrible product, that Conversations. So, so moving over to to T-Mobile, I mean, Verizon has something similar to as well, so you can get a second line, is a heck of a process, but this video is gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is you e need to email this address. So I'm gonna read it out. It's portout at vms.godaddy.com. So you need to write that, you need to write that email, tell them that you're gonna move the, your number and you need to get the port out information because they're gonna have to send you, from that team, it takes a couple days to send you this. You're gonna need the um, the pin number and the address to your carrier. The carrier's name is Twilio. And when you do this port out, the it's really complicated because the, the, the company who's receiving the number, in my case, this was T-Mobile, is not able to figure out exactly who Twilio is because there's a lot of resellers. So they were thinking it was these, all these other like Cinch Wireless and things like that. So if they're not able to to first tell you that it's Twilio, it's okay. Just don't touch the request. Just leave the request in place because I made that mistake of canceling the request thinking it was the wrong carrier. Like, no, it's Twilio. Why are you thinking it's Cinch Wireless? Let's cancel that, let's fix this. And then we did it over and over again. It took me eight days to move this phone number. So hopefully it'll be faster for you. But my recommendation is not to, not to just be patient. Even if they don't realize it's Twilio right off the bat, eventually it will get through to Twilio. And I ended up having to like get on, I got on all the Twilio social medias, I emailed them, I did all kinds of stuff. Um, I was on the phone every single day for a couple hours trying to deal with this and finally got it done. So hopefully this will be a solution for you if you're suffering with GoDaddy conversations. Um, definitely go in and rate the app if you're having a terrible, give them one star in the app store, you know, give them some feedback. These are the things that we can do as customers and, and moving the business away from GoDaddy was definitely the right thing to do. They haven't resolved the app, they haven't fixed the app. There was no reason to move from an app, SmartLine, which were great, which I've been a customer since 2017. It only cost like $4 a month and now they wanna roll out this new app, it's $13 a month. So it's a big jump in price you know, that's um, darn, that's like three times the price, over three times the price. If you go to T-Mobile and you do auto pay, it's only 10 bucks a month for their Digis app. For me, unfortunately, I couldn't get the Digis app to work and I need my phone number to, to work. So I had to go with the dual SIM option, which basically gives you two phone numbers on the same iPhone. That, that plan, unfortunately, adds an additional line. It's gonna cost me 50 bucks a month for that. So that's unfortunate for me. That was just my situation. I had to get my phone number up. Hopefully, Digits will work for you or um, Verizon's app, second line app that they have. Maybe that'll work for you or something else that you have. But that's the process to get out of there. And if you're having, if you're suffering with GoDaddy conversations, you need to take action and get your phone number away from them because I don't think there's any chance that they're really gonna resolve those issues anytime soon. I don't think they're really even working on it. So I, I, that's just my opinion, but we'll see. Maybe they fix it. But if you're having, if you're suffering and you need your phone to work, this is a solution and hopefully helpful. If you want a little bit more help, you wanna you know, pick my brain a little bit about this, you need you need some help through it, you can definitely comment down below, reach out to me, I'll be glad to help you out. This is Joe Phil with Skypoint Studios and I'll catch you on the next video.